All right. Hey, how y'all doing? Now, it's been a while since I've done a reaction video, but today we're going to be reacting to a attempting my first Pokemon Nuzlocke like by Young Young Tails. I'm excited because it's been a long time since I've actually done a reaction video. I don't really do them as much as I used to because I kind of just, I had other content to upload. I had stuff that I wanted to show off and share with y'all. And hopefully it's been doing great. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. But I'm excited because I, <laughs> I, I love these type of reactions because seeing a lot of other people make interesting decisions in their Nuzlocke is very interesting because I see how different I play from Pokemon like everybody else. And that's the glorious thing of watching like Pokemon runs and let's plays and whatnot. But with that being said, let's get up into it. Original video will be in the description section below. Make sure you leave a like on this video as well. Leave a like on that video as well. Comment, subscribe for some more of these little reaction things. Pokemon content, all that extra good stuff. And uh, let's get up into it. All right, I'm excited. Like I said, leave a like, comment, all that extra good stuff. Let's go ahead. Let's change the stuff. All right, let's go. All right, before we begin, I need to go over a few things. Okay. I've never done a Nuzlocke before, and I guess this technically still doesn't count as one. I don't know. It depends how strict the whole Nuzlocke community is. But basically, I abide by all the rules of a typical Nuzlocke where I name them, so I get attached, and if they faint, I can't use them anymore. Okay. But the additions that I add is that I can catch any bug type I want. If it faints, I can't use any of that same species. So, under Wait, these rules... Wait, so, 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 is it a, so is it like a... A mono bug Nuzlocke. That's very. I mean, you know. I mean, you know. Listen, bro. People do that all the time. They're still getting views off this. I can you know. Technically, run out of Pokemon. Got it. Good. Grab your popcorn. Use the restroom. Get comfy because we're in it for the long haul, baby. Oh yeah. Also, I should <laughs> mention that I've never played this before. So that should really. Be Here goes my Pokemon. Never played Pokemon. Sword, hold on. Hold on. Really hold on. Nothing. He's never played Pokemon Sword and Shield. It's. 2021 sword and shield came out about 2019 well to be fair they weren't the most well received games in the community but i mean you know it's it's us lock you know i mean a long time ago i witnessed a finals pokemon match oh it's the J animations joint the what yo the that's champ. fire that's and a fire then, callback that very moment motivated me to one day embark on my own journey Today was the day that me and my neighbor Hop became official Pokemon That's a fire callback. Hop's older brother Leon was none other than the undefeated champion of Galar, and he was going One to of the best champions of we have. We could compete in the Pokemon Gym Challenge. And I was like super hyped because I wanted to for That's the longest hot. time assemble the most I like this art Pokemon. style. This is dope. Don't judge me. I like bug Pokemon, all right? But why? Leon did uh, listen, A-Drive, what did you do? <laughs> hey drive look what you did you gave these people confidence to like bug type mods what's next ice types no 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 <laughs> what's going on have any to start out with so i chose sobble i named sops my very first galarian oh uh, look at him right off the bat i hate challenges you. me and at first Scorbunny i thought better. a 1v2 was a bit unfair L plus Scorbunny better plus Grooky Gang plus you fell off plus YB better. Come on, dog. Stop stop picking Sabu. What's going on with y'all? Come on, man. Hold on, hold on. Can we get some Scorbunny Gang? We need Scorbunny Gang hashtag. Hashtag Scorbunny Gang with the little like handshake emoji with Grooky Gang in the comments. Can we get that? Can we get that? Listen, bro. Sabu is and whack. Pops team. Hmm. I wonder if this is like what our future encounters are going to be like. I was about to leave on my journey, but Hops needed help finding a stray Wooloo. So navigating through the foggy forest, we didn't find the Wooloo, but some weird giant dog. It was pretty <laughs> random stuff, but we did end up finding the Wooloo. Take your sheep. All right, now we can officially leave. Strapped on my Tanjiro box of a backpack and together with Sops, our journey has officially begun. Group yeah. one, we ran into some of the new locals. Ugh, why is everything so weird? Oh, oh, thank goodness. Finally, something that I actually recognize. Ugh. What happened to you? That's a I good design. I wasn't sure if That's there a good were design. any bugs in the area, but sure enough, I found this thing called a Grubbin, Ew. and I named it Woomps. My very first bug Pokemon. I am excited to see what you'll become, Woomps, since I've stopped paying attention after Unova Region. <gasps> And just like that, I had Sops, Woomps, and Blinks. Man. We didn't get that far into the journey when Hops challenged us yet again. Anyways, fun fact, Blinks evolved from the battle, so thanks for the free XP and money. 
This old lady and another lady named Sonia were watching and they were like, Dang. Alright, you can participate in the gym challenge. Well, why thank you, random people I just met. I feel like I didn't really need your permission, but I appreciate the support. Off to Motor Stoke City. We arrive at something called the Wild Area, and that is where I run into a Carablast. And if you don't know, Carablast's evolved form as Cavalier was like super cool, super I was gonna strong, say, and would make a great addition is dope to as this hell, dude. I really wanted one because I've never had one before. But then I unfortunately remember that you need to trade for it, and I didn't have anyone to trade with, so this thing was pretty you much. You could have called a friend. Moving along the way, we you barely called avoided a friend, complete bro. catastrophe when Stops almost died to a level 30 Pillow Swine. Why are there such strong Pokemon here? So carefully yeah. navigating through the wild area, we arrive in the city, beat up some members of Team Yell and this girl named Marnie in the hotel lobby so I could get my room key. Hey, what a cool statue. Woke up early, smiled and waved for the opening ceremony, shook hands with Chairman Rose, and pushed on to my first challenge. Just outside the city on Route 3, I was doing some exploring in case there were any bugs in the area, but after a while of no luck, we pressed That's on. not Route 3, Along no, 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 no. Cave, I say, that's the, that's the one after, might be. Interesting. And then I met this bundle of joy, Bade. We just had a nice little discussion about his personality, and then after exiting the cave, I found a Joltik I named Lucas. And together with Wombs and Blinks, bada bing, bada boom, holy crap, this is what Dynamax Pokemon battles are like. The first gym badge was ours. Oh. And yeah, you evolved. On the way to yeah. the next town, we were having a light conditioning session to get Lucas up to par with the rest of the team, and you know what? I must say, things were really starting to look up for my bug team. No! And I was sure that Lucas would add so much value, especially considering the fact that the next gym was no! water type. We got this in the back. Yup. Wobble fat. Lucas, no! Yeah. A stupid wild Wobbuffet was able to perfectly counter <laughs> Lucas's attack and cause the team's first yeah. death. Fearing the same thing would happen to my other Pokemon, we ran in shame. Lucas wasn't with us for long, and we may not be able to get revenge now, but Lucas's death gave us the spark to really zoom through our next challenges. <laughs> Welcome to the team, Zweeps. Ah, yes, it's my rival. Oh it's my time God. to show you how strong I am. Let's have a re- oh, out of my way. Thank you. God. Oh, my God. Thank you. Look at Nessa. Oh, fine. I need that. Yeah. I don't really like you, dude. And your attitude sucks. Right. Also, where the heck do you think you're going? Oh, that's Hell. fire. Our next gym challenge that's was fire. Yeah. Home of the Bane. That's to fire. I like that. Types. My newest member, Harold, was pretty much useless here, so Sots was going to have to carry this one. Going through the challenges where we had to team up with randos and catch Pokemon for points, I thought it was a good idea to use my recently evolved Sweeps since it was the best choice to clear each one. But on the final challenge, Sweeps was backstabbed and perished. <laughs> Okay, I honestly felt pretty guilty about what happened. But how the heck was yeah. I supposed to know that the other trainer was going to betray me like that? Yeah. You monster. We can mourn later. But you know, but, but, okay, 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 okay. So, so I have a question for anybody in the comment section, right? Do y'all count that death? Like, if you've ever done, like, a Sword and Shield Nuzlocke, right? And in that gym, like, you know, the, the gym trainers actually attack you. I think, I think you sludge wave or something like that. Do you count that death? Because, like... If it's your first time playing the game, you wouldn't know that. So why would you count it? You know what I'm saying? It'd be different if, like, you know, it just happened and, it, you know, it, the AI just messed up. But, like, that actually happens. There's been times where uh, I was regularly playing through Sword and Shadow. I played through it, like, maybe, like, three or four times. But I remember getting hit and I almost died because that wild mon attacked me and my the gym trainer attacked me as well. And I was, like, left right here about to die. And I had to switch out. But would you count that in a Nuzlocke where it's your first playthrough? You wouldn't know. You know, like you, you, just, you just would not know. I don't know if I would count that personally, but, it, you know, he did. Badge to win. We burst through the gym doors, and it was game on. Sops took out the first two Pokemon pretty easily, and then it was time for Kabu's ultimate. Senna Scorch is hard. Senna Scorch. Scorch, that's Finally, fire. Before my own wow, eyes, that's one fire. Of the coolest bug type Pokemon I have you right. ever seen. You are right. Easily you are right. You are right. Such an impressive one of the best ones. I was super jealous. But now I can unleash my secret weapon. It was time to show my fifth Pokemon. Galissapod. <laughs> been hidden way too long but it's time for you to come out let's go grievous he had one yeah 
basically a wall back on Route That's 3 hot. after asking around. I caught a sizzle peak. That's what I brought I knew it. Wait, 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 wait. I knew it. I literally sat here and I knew it. I was like, wait a minute. If he's catching bug type Pokemon, basically, how did he not catch a centipede? I was literally, bro, I was right. I was, yo, let's go. I was right, bro. I knew it. I, I sat here and I was like, wait a minute. But you can catch him on this damn route. What's going on here? He didn't catch it before? Come on. Stop playing with me. Well, Stop Ruby, it. Yo, that is fire. I caught a that's, mm, oh, that's fire. I absolutely like that. I love that. And prime I love that. That's really good. Like that's now, really let's good. Let's see who sent to Scorch was better. It was an intense battle between the two. That's fire. That's Based fire. On alone, That's it would have seemed fire. like Cosmos Scorch had the upper hand Get it? since it was much I'm bigger fine. and unfortunately cooler looking. But Grievous's flame was fueled by the innocent blood of Sweeps. And in the end, that is what gave us victory. Yes! Oh, I'm so proud of you, Grievous. Yes, I am. Oh, yes, I am. <laughs> Double yes. After some training, Harold really toughened up by evolving into a Galissa. Let's go! Well, how about that? And then we picked up Skarner the Squirrel Pie along the way. One to of my Hammer favorite Locks. mons, Drapion. No I love you. But I'm sure he'll be useful for I love you. I Shortly love after, you. I ran into Hops. I like this again, team, though. For the whole time, I like this team. Apparently, he lost to Bade in a Pokemon battle. So it was up to me to be the good friend that I am and help him feel better by beating him up. From there, That's it was evil. on to the fighting type gym where Blinks got real psyched up, if you know what I mean. Clean sweep, badge four. <laughs> but after the battle just outside, we found out that Bade, Mr. Ooh, I was endorsed by the chairman. Ooh, I'm so special. Ooh, everyone is beneath me. Ooh, thought it was okay to blast some hole in some ancient sacred art because he was entitled to it. Are you sure your name isn't like Karen? I tried to give him another beatdown lesson with my Skarner, but then he ended up getting a critical one hit by Solus's Psybeam. <sighs> Of all people to lose a Pokemon to, you've got to be kidding me. I just got you. Vengeance. Well, Bade got in a lot of trouble for what he did anyway and ended up getting kicked out of the league. So I don't feel bad for him <laughs> at all. Huh. Well, that looks important. Moving on, replacing Skarner was Jerry the Dwebble I found and quickly evolved. Look. I was running out of bodies to fill these Pokeballs with, so I had no other choice. I was beginning to be concerned about Woomps. You know, what I what I will say, you would think that, like, somebody who hasn't uh, watched or played Sword and Shield, you would think that he would care a lot about the story. He kind of doesn't, and I, it makes me realize how different people play Pokemon. Like, I, I, if you ever, I don't know if anybody here is, like, remember, like, they, there's people that don't read the story. There's people who don't care about the story at all. They just, they just collect their Pokemon. And it's like, damn, like, that's, I wish I was that blissfully ignorant. Because, <laughs> man, I'm, I'm, I'm too really into it. I really wondered if I was, like, missing something. But shortly afterwards, Woomps rummaged through my bag and found a Thunderstone I had earlier and evolved. Let's go. Ooh. I had this suspicious feeling that the next gym leader, Opal, primarily uses fairy types. Just a hunch. And, you know, gee, it would have been real nice to have somebody who could deal with fairy types right about now. It's not his fault. For a certain person. But even so, Woomps and Grievous managed to sweep right through because fairy types are stupid. Except for you, Sweeps. You're good. On the way to the next town, another explosion goes off. Sonia and the old professor lady are there, and they give some explanation about two brothers, Darkest Day, giant Pokemon running That's rampant. That's fire. That's really a fire in the station. Really giving me some Attack on Titan vibes. So I let them to go deal with that, and I moved on to Route <laughs> 8, where I picked up Nom Nom the Snom. Gordy was the sixth gym leader who used Rock-type Pokemon, but they quickly sank under the brute force of Harold and Sops. Oh yeah, and Jerry spamming dig. Then it was on to Pierre. All right, well, this gym uses nothing but a bunch of dark types. So wait right here, Nom Nom. Blinks will watch you. We'll be right back. Give me that. Okay, let's go. Okay, two times could just be a coincidence, but three times, turns out giant Pokemon are spawning all over the place. Oh, well, he's paying attention, Your okay. Time's rising. I had this feeling that this was only the beginning of something really bad that maybe I should help. But nah, they told me to go focus on getting my last badge. <laughs> okay then. 
And that might be a challenge, because the last gym is home to Rayhan and his dragon Pokemon, The God! Which are known to be tough. One of the best gym leaders we've had in a while. I'm gonna say it, Rayhan is fire, bro. He's, he's amazing. Most I thought it was Ryan when I first played the game. Move sets. Really so good. good, really good gym situation. leader. The good news is, is that Nom Nom received 10,000 grams of friendship to evolve and give us the ice advantage, the bad news is, is that she is literally the definition of a glass cannon. Yep. Meaning, yes, Nom Nom big strong against dragon types, but if Nom Nom touch candle or pebble, which dragons are more than capable of throwing, Nom Nom go bye-bye. So as we went in, the entire team had one objective on their mind. Protect Nom Nom. This time it was in the form of a double battle, and making sure they didn't get any chance to gain momentum, Harold and Nom Nom made quick work of his Flygon and Gigalith. But then came out his big bad Dureladon and Sandaconda. You've got to be kidding me. Dureladon was literally the love child of Godzilla and a skyscraper. What, what could we possibly do it's against Mega the building? I quickly switched Harold for Blinks, hoping that he could put it to sleep and then have Nom Nom finish it off with the Aurora Beam. But at the last moment, Blinks became paralyzed from the Sandaconda and Nom Nom's attack that was wasn't terrifying. enough to take down the Dureladon. And before I could switch both of them out, Blinks was smashed by a stone wall. You did well, Blinks. You did your job. Sops and Jerry came in, and even though they both became paralyzed by the Sandaconda, Jerry couldn't land a single dig, they were able to stall out Dureladon's Dynamax form, giving Harold the opportunity to come back in and brick break the crap out of it, and finally deal with that pesky snake. The last That's game fire. was <laughs> ours, That's fire. but we lost Blinks. A true OG of the bug squad That's a fire, and like, so it, much value yo, to the team. his art style is crazy. I was not crazy. sure if I could find anyone to fill his spot this far. Like, I like team. this. Like, I think Sonya I'm not going to hold you, like, real me. talk. Like, this, this, I, I love how he draws Pokemon. That's really fucking dope. Like, it is, every Pokemon iteration has, like, this, like, anime style in it. I love it. It's, it's so good, bro. It's so good. Possibly about It's so good. I like stuff, this. But I was too sad about Blinks to really pay attention. A world without Blinks is not a world worth living anyway. What are you talking? I had to take a few days off to prepare my team and our newest member for the final challenges, but once we were ready, we arrived in Winden City and stepped through those stadium We ran through this kind of fast. Almost there. Marnie and her dark Pokemon Jesus. were up first, and this is honestly the that best time is any is crazy. to debut the So I brought out Gaia, the yes, Cavalier. How'd he get this? A.K.A. Okay, formerly useless. <laughs> yep, that's right. And stacked with a sword stance, Gaia became a true powerhouse and swept the yeah! team. Yeah! Hey, then we and had fire for it! My rival Hop. Yeah, you probably already know how that went. Sops came out for one last fight, and we ended the rivalry. I like that. Yep, it really was his last fight. And honestly, not bringing Sops into the final match was probably one of the hardest decisions I had to make so far. My very first Pokemon, and the one that has watched over all of his teammates and saw them grow into the team they are now. But I believed with this team, even Jerry, we had the best chance of You know, I, okay, I, so I have a question for anybody who watches my content consistently, like... Would you guys like if I did like a mono type thing? I know I said I hated those challenge videos, but like this seems so fun. Like this seems so fun. I I don't know. Like I got, I could do like a, I don't know because my favorite typing is like dragon and fire, right? But then it's dark and fairy too. So I could be like, oh, can I beat so and so with fairy type? I don't want to be that guy because I, I I did say I didn't like them. I did say I didn't like them. Oh my god, but it looks fun. No. Oh my Sops god. Will be with us in spirit. Oh my god. A lot god. of stuff happened in between leading up to the semifinal to final rounds, but to summarize, celebratory dinner, evil staff of the key, tall building, crazy secretary lady, a tiny hint that Rose is actually bad and was behind the explosions, but meh, that's totally not a cause for concern. Ew, it's bait again, but he's less of a douchebag. Boom, boom, smash through the gym leader rematches and Gaia bonks Dureladon in the face. Love that. We land in the finals. And now we have come face to face with champion Leon. Every battle. Everything we have been through this has is led fire. Up to this moment. It was time to show the world just how powerful my bug Pokemon truly are. And never mind, Rose is evil, and apparently the darkest day has begun. Well, that sure complicates things. Way to read the room, dude. No, this video's long as it is.
<laughs> Whatever. I will go save the world, I guess. Using 200 IQ, Hops was pretty sure that the dog. Yo, I'm not gonna lie to you. If if it, if it was ever me, dude, in like a Pokemon situation, I I would literally tell the. I would even tell you, listen, like dog, listen. This can wait. I'm about to get my. I'm about to win. I'm about to get into this battle. Can you wait before I destroy you? Can I destroy him really quick? I'm trying to become the champion. You may. Oh, but you won't have time to become the champion when I'm done with the world. Listen, I'm going to beat you. I, I, I don't know if you realize this, but I am the main character here. I'm sorry. I, you're not winning. I, you don't know how these, how these games work? Come on, dog. What is going on with you? Can I beat him first and then I can handle you? He gonna have to sit there and be like, no, I'm gonna do it. What did I say? What did I, what did I say? Don't make me come up there. Then I really gotta go up there. And I'm not gonna hold you. I'm not, I'm not gonna let him live. I'm gonna be like, look, I told you. Kill him. What? But you can't do this. A kid's can No. The very beginning was important and could help us, so we headed back to our hometown to find it. And trekking through the creepy woods, we don't find the dog, but a rusty old sword and shield. I guess those will have to do. We rush back to Hammerlock City's power plant and we find Chairman Rose going off about Gallard's power supply crisis that's potentially coming in 10 years and to stop it, he summoned this Eternatus thing hoping he could control it and harness its power. You summoned a what now? Just my opinion man, but a plan involving control of a legendary being with powers beyond understanding usually doesn't end up going well. Basically, your plan is stupid. Rose didn't somebody, like that. And he somebody, I, I forgot. I forgot what the actual quote is. But somebody's like, uh, it's this, it's this quote where it's like the biggest mistake about humans is them trying to play God or something like that. Something like that. I forgot what the quote is. I forgot what the quote is. But it always ends. No, like it always ends terribly. Like Giovanni, in every other iteration, got away with the whole Mewtwo thing, and that's fine. But like, that's it. That's because Mewtwo's man-made. Mewtwo's man-made, right? And they and made it too smart. Eventually it does go out on its own. But like, well, you're, Cyrus was trying to use the legendary Pokemon, the actual gods of the Pokemon universe, to make a whole new world just for Giratina to come and snatch him. See what I'm saying? Archie and Maxi regretted everything they've ever done. Years of research, years of money. The very moment they got their goal because they realized they could not control them even with the stones. You know what I'm saying? Like, and then, and then like Lysander, I think Lysander had it the worst because Lysander just really, he just was not, he, <laughs> I, I feel like if he knew what Xerneas and Yveltal could do as individuals and stuff, he would have realized that doing this might actually like kill him as well. And I think he was ready for that. I don't know. But, and, and him, he's so stupid, dude. Such a bad villain. Whatever, man. He's going to try stop me with his team full of steel Pokemon. So I left Grievous to deal with him. I head upstairs to find Leon and what the heck is Ooh, that's that? That's fire. No, 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 no. That's a Yu-Gi-Oh monster, not a Pokemon. What kind of Pokemon would look like that? I quickly found out that almost none of my Pokemon would be able to damage it without dying, so... Uh, uh, Jerry, go! Jerry made it mad. Internatus then turned into this giant starfish thing. Yeah, that didn't make a whole lot of sense. And then we're like, uh, uh, Rusty Sword and Shield! The dogs show up, merge with the stuff, and we defeat Internatus, where I catch it with a teeny tiny Pokeball. Crisis averted. Three days later, after one of the largest tangents ever, you know, saving the world, we are finally back to our match. Whew. Here we go. Today, we finally face Such off. Such a fire team! Leon. Woom slucked out with a quick claw boost and was able to take out both Aegislash and Rhyperior. Don't ask me how many Sneasels I needed to get through to find one. Leon's Dragapult was a tough one though. I was hoping that Nom Nom would be fast enough to take it out, but Nom Nom was outsped and was met with a flamethrower. That's a wrap. I'm sorry, Nom Nom. We couldn't protect you that time. Grievous came out and was able to coil up and crunch the crap out of the Dragapult, as well as Leech Life the monkey for some healing. And then Gaia was able to win head to head against his Haxorus. And then finally, his last Pokemon, Charizard. 
but even though we outnumbered him 5 to 1, I didn't feel any better considering the fact that his Charizard still had pretty much every advantage over all my Pokemon. To deal with his Charizard, I had three choices. Harold, who could hopefully beat Charizard with water attacks, Wooms with electric attacks, and then Jerry with rocks. I sent out Harold first, hoping that he could end it right then and there, but Charizard got the first strike, and with a powerful air blast, Harold was one shot. Oh. Oh crap. I sent in Wooms hoping for another Quick Claw Boost Thunderbolt, but that too failed and Wooms was burnt to a crisp. Ooh. Two of my strongest Pokemon is and gonna my lose best this? chances to beat Charizard He's were both wiped this, out in an instant. At this point, victory This might be the one animation where they, where they actually dies, lose. Real Charizard talk. will have no trouble defeating my remaining Pokemon. And it will be over. Jerry, you weren't our strongest team member and often the butt of many jokes, but right now, you are our last hope. Oh, we're screwed. Jerry <laughs> stepped onto the battlefield and Charizard raised a stone. Wait, why wall did he not why did he not um down and staring into the face of Why did he not defeat. Dynamax him damn so? Well, I might as well surrender at this point. Spare the rest of my Pokemon. But Jerry was still standing. The dog. I'm just I I don't know. Chunk it up to high defense or the fact that Jerry had a giant rock to protect him. No, it was like the true power of friendship. This was our chance. I made Jerry jumbo sized and we showed that oversized Barney what it's like to get squashed by a giant rock. And it was at that moment we won. Oh, we that's completed fine. the Pokemon sword kind of sorta but now, not really. Now watch this now. If he, if he survived that, Charizard would have literally went down because he had already killed the Galissapod. He already killed the Vic of Volt. That's two turns already, right? When he sent in this Crustle, when that attack worked, when that attack did what it did, Charizard would have reverted down anyway. And when he Dynamaxed his Crustle, Crustle's HP go up. All he does is a rock move. Regular Zard is not surviving that. He won. Fire, no. fire. It was a bittersweet fire. moment since Gaia, Grievous, and Jerry were the only ones who survived. But even so, this victory goes just as much to all the other team members who brought us to where we are now. Lucas, Sweeps, Skarner, Blinks, Sops, Nom Nom, Harold, and Woomps. You are all- I wish I had an animation, buddy. Some might say I that this is a good these. place to stop and be satisfied. But now that I'm here, I realize that my journey isn't over. Achieving this title of Bug Champion of Galar is not an ultimate goal, but a mere stepping stone in my life. So with my team, I am setting out to continue on my journey, because I am sure somewhere out there, more challenges are Oh, they got Pokemon! Yo! Say, yo, yo, yo that's on. fire! Wait a minute, that's fire! That's like a, that's like a, a, a Mount Silver reference, bro. Having Jaden be the trainer red to your, to your gold, that's fire. That's fire. Is that the end of the video? That's the end of the video. That's the end of the video. Yo, that's fire. That is fire. Leave a like and I'm subscribing. I will be here next time. That was great. That was amazing. That was that was so that was so good. That was so good. Dog, wow, bro. Wow, that was that was fire. That was a fire video, bro. That was great. That was, that was great. That was so fucking dope. That was cool. Hey, make sure you leave a like. Go watch this. Uh, watch it again. Watch it more times. Already has a million views. Go watch it again. And again. And again. And again. And again. And again. So he can come back uh, after the Diamond and Pearl remakes. After Legends Arceus. Look. Go back and watch this. I, I want to do one of these now, bro. Yo, leave a like, comment, subscribe to some more Pokemon content. And I will talk to you all later. Bye.